I'm a mechanic. I probably use maths every day. Measuring capacities of engines for oil, engine sizes, writing invoices, working out GST. We specialise in Alfa Romeos, from 1960 cars through to 2010 cars. Quite, there's plenty of maths involved in being a motor mechanic. Everything from your brake sizes, measured in millimetres, to your gear ratios, you work it out. The higher gear divided by the lower gear gets your gear ratio. Your diff ratios, your clearances in your motor are measured in thou. You've got your wheel sizes, which alters your acceleration, measured in the most fine detail, so the car runs right. My favourite subject at school was art. I dropped out of maths in year nine because I struggled with algebra and I couldn't see how it related to anything that I needed. I regret not doing more maths because I think it would have made my life easier now. I've had to learn the hard way. We've got a gearbox here, so we can work out gear ratios from here. For example, third gear might be 20 teeth there and 40 teeth there, and you'll divide 20 by 40, which equals 0.5. With your gear ratios, you can work out your ground speed in kilometres an hour on the road at certain engine RPM. The crankshaft sits in here and because this engine seized, we have to measure across here to see whether there's enough meat on there to take the new bearings or whether it will need to be machined again. There's a 0.04 of a millimetre tolerance between having it machined or just leaving it as standard. Well, favourite subject, probably maths and physics. You know, physics, you get to talk about speed and all the things that relate back to cars. Maths, obviously, again, your gear ratios. This particular wheel is a 16-inch wheel. It will give you less acceleration than a 13-inch wheel will. I think if you want to be a motor mechanic, you really should do maths all the way through to year 12. You absolutely have to do a heap of maths to get into this industry now because vehicles are so electronically reliant that electronic skills as well as mechanical skills. So you really have to understand about resistance and temperature and volume to get a head start in this industry. Sometimes being a motor mechanic, you've got to do maths in your head. You've got to do metric to imperial conversion. We measure valve clearances in thou. Some books say millimetres, some books say thou. Alphas are just awesome. It's great to be able to drive cars like these. I've raced Alfa Romeos, all sorts of different things. They're the formula cars. I love being a mechanic, love working on cars. I love seeing the end result. Yeah, I'm very lucky here. Yeah.